Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a video that is not my usual videos. Actually, it's more in line with the kind of videos I made 10 years ago when I was in Japan. Because um, I was really into the... Believe it or not, I was a lot involved and saw a lot of vegan videos, was a lot in the vegan community. And I kept on watching vegan videos for years. I still watch a couple of vegan YouTubers. And um, one of them is a natural vegan. And man, and I lost a lot of interest in him since he started with the whole um, pet situation that was too overboard. And I still watch a few videos here and there, but we don't agree on everything. And I start eating. I think uh, uh, it started to become a little too... Uh, it's, it started to become a little too much like the kind of people he criticized for my taste and I drifted away from his content. But recently, um, there are two things that made me start watching his videos again. Well, I still watch a few videos here and there, which is the reason why I watch his videos on a natural vegan. But another one is uh, some recent upheaval in the J vlogging community, which I was also part for some time, even before there was a J vlogging community, because I know I deleted all my videos from the time I was in Japan. Only a few, and most of them are privated. Um, I was vlogging about Japan before there was the J vlogging community. And so I still keep on watching some J vlogging videos as well. And um, recently, a new thing about Kanada Shin Sun emerged, and I rewatched a few videos. One of them of Ezel Malach also discussing religion, and I agree on most things, but. I am a little apprehensive because he mentions Israel quite a few times and I want to call him out on that. But this video is about what he is doing to unnatural vegan. And hang on, sipping a little bit of tea. Ooh, it's hot. This is hibiscus tea. It's really great. So, what's happening is. Recently, he has been, I think he's, he has put out at least five videos attacking uh, unnatural vegan recently, and uh, those are two of my favorite uh, uh, vegan YouTubers, um, and I don't know, I don't agree with their points, but I like watching them, I will like, it's like I watch people from all sorts of uh, belief systems, and I just like to see contradicting opinions and to grow myself from that. I don't like to live in an echo chamber, so I will watch Joe Rogan, I will watch Infowars, and I will watch The Young Turks, CNN, Fox. I this is the kind of person I am. I like to know both sides of the story. And this is why I think Isaac Nazar or Abba Lucien, as he goes on YouTube, I think in English you say Isel or Isel, something like that. Um, so Isaac Nazar started attacking unnatural vegan, calling her a fake vegan, a sellout, and uh, saying that she is um, doing nothing to spread the message. And I have to tell him one thing. When I was young, naive, I started going into the route to become vegetarian. I didn't know better, I didn't know anything. I was impressed and I wanted to be vegetarian for animal uh, to support animals, and what I found was a community that was hostile if you wanted to be just a vegetarian. You cannot be just a vegetarian, you have to be a vegan. If you're cruel, 
you don't really care about animals if you don't want to go the extra step to be a vegetarian. Mind you, I was a teenager, I was in high school, I was really impressionable. I was not very impressionable, but I saw factories.